you know, even guys wearing rollers. I don't, I don't know if you remember guys used to have pressed hair and rollers. Yeah. How many, yeah. How many, how many do you see like that other than uh, Cat Williams and Snoop Dogg, you know? Well, what can I say? That was Flag Brothers. And I'm telling you, every six months, somebody is going to send me an email. Well, a, a, a YouTube message. And they are ticked off at me because I wrote, well, I did a video about how bad Flag Brothers was. I, I, it's the worst in African-American clothing. You, I mean, come on. I watch Superfly, but I don't think, you know, that it's something that I'm going to, you know, work myself towards. Yeah, that is something you're not going to emulate. Uh, but you got to remember, <laughs> well, <laughs> you Flag you're, Brothers was kind of uh, popular for a time. So but, uh, apparently somebody liked it. Oh, well, like you just said, it was a period, but it didn't stand the test of time, though. I mean, now you mostly see like these little pimp items more in uh, like photo booths or, <laughs> <laughs> or uh, yeah. you know, little gadget play. Maybe at Halloween, you'll see someone dressed up as a pimp. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's just uh, like you said, it was, I mean, that's period wear and as a period of nothing. And like you said, now just think uh, about that. You, yeah, you're talking about it in the sense of Halloween, and this was was sort of standard American, as far as you know, in the hood is concerned. There's stores in Philly, D.C., L.A., New Orleans, and people lining up to get these uh, capes and canes and just straight pimp wear clothing. This was for guys. Now, I don't know. It got, uh, eleganza might have been for the women. I don't know. But Eleganza definitely sold pimp wear as well. But Flag Brothers is the one that we used to get the little catalog and uh, we look through all the time. Just like nowadays, I know the kids get these little catalogs and they're looking at Nikes and Adidas and stuff like that. Back right. then, it was Flag Brothers. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, you know, I see it in schools all the time where the kids are looking at, uh, like I say, the sneakers that are usually two and $300 and stuff. Well, look, I'd rather know, that than the pimp wear. Well, you know, that thing you got to realize, though, you're not going to get 100%. So, I mean, no matter what you put out there, someone's going to disagree with, uh, you know, you're going to have your critics, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, it's that's, a trip. I that's the thing you got to realize about being public. Anytime you're being public, then you open yourself up for uh, criticism. <laughs> you call that criticism? I, I don't even. I can't even consider okay, that. Okay, how about the critique? Okay, they have it. Uh, I, have I think to me, if you defend and pimp wear, I, I, I just can't. I mean, but I mean, but that's, I know, the beauty of, that's the beauty of America, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, it you is. Can do what you want. Be what you want. You know, yeah, Black History Month, and we're you know, there's somebody out there that thinks that Flag Brothers pimp wear was part of African well, American dress. Well, let's take it to another level. How about the N word? I mean, that's just the same way as the N word, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, but... in our culture right now, they'll greet you and they say, "Greetings, my N," <laughs> which is true. Ooh, they got to say, Eddie, that, that's my in. And I'm talking about, not talking about people in the street. I'm talking about college educated people. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, it happens. I mean, so, I mean you got to realize a lot, there's a lot of stereotypes that are negative that we help participate. You know, I mean, we help, you know, spread. So, yeah. Oh, okay. And another thing. Okay. We, it's February, Black History Month. And I have a question. Because uh, I, I always thought of something that a lot of people might think is not very popular. Now we know that we have different leaders that we hear so much from in February. I mean, you, you, one way or another, you're going to hear about them. Um, Malcolm X is regarded as one of you know one of our leaders. Right. Now, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to use the word overrated. 
But to me, and I know a lot of people are not crazy about this, but to me, he helped build up the nation of Islam. But whereas you got like Martin Luther King and you got John Lewis, even in this day, Frederick Douglass, they were actually out in the trenches. But you gotta, you gotta realize these are all components. All components make up a part, right? It's called synergy. So, I mean, okay. you gotta realize that Malcolm X brought, I mean, here was like, remember, it was two competing ideas in the black community. Yep. Martin Luther King said nonviolence. Mm -hmm. Malcolm X said, hey, don't be a house Negro. And then finally, and, and, here it is that Malcolm X, he capitulated. And once he did, we see that uh, he was executed. Okay, my thing is, I heard, you know, you hear a lot about Malcolm X, but uh, I still say King was down there in the trenches. He got oh, rocks no. thrown at him. He probably spit upon. Malcolm was in the North. Not saying that there wasn't racism in the North. We know there's racism all over the country, here in the West, just all over. But it's easier to say all that in the North than in the South. I was surprised when I found out that he was there that night in Miami. Well, nobody's knocking. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? Like I just said, everyone knows Dr. King was the primary figure. But yeah. I mean, even a primary figure knows he needs a, he needs a coat. You know what I mean? You can't have, everybody can't be the pitcher of the team. You need a first baseman. He's a second baseman. So, I mean, like you said, Malcolm isn't the only one in the – I mean, like I said, we're not saying he's the man that led it. But, hey, you got to give the guy his props for – here he is that not only was he on a fringe element, but he eventually saw the light. Yeah, yeah. And that's my thing. I hear so much that to a lot of people, he was the top leader. And I'm kind of like, well – he wasn't down in Birmingham. But let's ask this, though. I mean, is, is it the top leader or is it results? Is that what we're looking for? We should be looking for what? Results, right? We should be looking for results. and Not what, not just who gets the credit, right? I mean, if you know what I mean? And that means you're not really out for civil rights. You're just out for a name, right? Which is true. Which is true. It's just, you know, I'm, I hear so much. His name comes up so much, and I'm kind of like, well, I mean, I read his book twice. He, I read it. But it goes to show you, he must have been something for you to read it twice. Oh, no, no. It, it's just that you, I hear his name so much. And it's funny. I read the book twice. I never did read like the last two or three chapters twice. I read the book and somehow when I got to the last three, two or three chapters, I ended up sending it back to the library both times. And we're talking about once when I was in college and once a few years after I got out of college. So, you know, what can I say? I, it, it, his story is interesting. It's just, again, I just don't think he did what a lot of others have done. He spoke, like he said, spoke he in a way that should have been spoken. But to me, again, he wasn't in Birmingham. Right, but remember, we're not talking about who's the best. Yeah. We're talking about results. And hey, yeah. he did his part. You know, I mean, that's just all of us. Because if you're not as famous as someone else, does that mean your contribution is less than others? Um, well, it depends. When you start quantifying well, contributions. Mean, you need foot soldiers. <laughs> I mean, I mean I, we, and we don't like doing that. But I mean, sometimes you can't help but do that. I mean, you need one person to start it. I mean, it's, if you watch, yeah. uh, that's like the big controversy in our African-American community about Tom Brady. Hey, a lot of people don't want to call that guy the GOAT. But yeah. you got to give it to the GOAT because, hey, I mean, he's one player, but he inspired all those others. That uh, Here he is in Tampa Bay that he can do it. Yeah. So, I mean, but are the other players any less? I mean, he needs a defense. That's why you hate him. Yeah. Hey, even though Brady's great. Which is true. Got it, you know. Even though Dr. King is great, hey, he needed Malcolm X. You need a, you know, you need these other agitators. Which is true. 
Which is true. It's like right now. Look at the uh, those four little girls in Birmingham. Why are they still being honored today? I think they just died. What was it last week? I mean, at their anniversary of their death. You know, the Birmingham uh, bombing. Uh, Birmingham bombing was like in September of '63. Okay, so I mean, like I said, I know it was in the fall, fall, winter. So yeah, and here they are. They're still being. I mean, was their part any less than Dr. King or their sacrifice any less? Yep. Yep. That's what I'm saying. It, it, remember, you got to think of it's the whole, you know, I'm just saying it's the composite. So yeah. when, you, when you have a movement, of course, you need leaders. There's going to be people in front. But, uh, you know, look at Jesus. Where was he without his disciples, right? Yep. Somebody, had to, tell, somebody had to tell the story. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're going to come to a close. I got to make a call to somebody. And, uh, for those who are watching this, I mean, don't get mad. We all no, got no, opinions. Let them, get, no, let them get mad. They deserve to get mad. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, they, don't get mad. Say what you feel. Just hey. listen sometimes. No, we want people to say what they feel, Eddie Lee. <laughs> hey, that's how, you know what I'm just saying? This is your it's, platform. And especially <laughs> when I say that about Flag Brothers, I still say that was the worst period of African-American clothing. It, it just was. It has nothing to do with black history. Ma Malcolm X might have something to do with black history. Flag Brothers pimp wear had nothing good to offer black American history. But you just said the key though. History doesn't have a determinant to it. So I mean, history includes good and bad, right? Yeah, well, so, that was hey. the bad. So that, that is the bad of our history. Yeah, but that was the history. bad part that we we chip money in to, uh, you know, for. I, I, I still don't understand that, but hey, that, that's it is what it is. Okay, folks, uh, be sure to hit the like button, and if you feel like subscribing, just subscribe. There's going to be other topics that's going to come up at some point or another, and we would like for you to say what you got to say. You ain't got to be angry about it. Just say what you got to say. It's that simple. Hey, Eddie, you got to remember, America's angry right now, so let them get their well, they, frustration yeah, they, they should be angry, but just we're, not at me. We're, we're trying to help them desensitize and help them uh, de -tone, de what, tone it down. So, hey, get yeah, it out. Yeah, tone it down. So you don't have to be angry at me. Just divert your anger in another direction, even if you have to divert it towards Jonathan. Hey, there you, you, don't go. To, you don't have to be towards hey, me. I'll be America's punching bag. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to um, leave on that note. So pretty much over and out.